welcome back to my channel so i know i've been gone most of y'all who follow me on instagram and stuff y'all know what's been going on with me but i've just been really like not in a good place been stressed out i've been just really like overwhelmed with life but i wanted to talk to you guys um i wanted to like make it a chit chat kind of thing a video where i put on a mask talk to you guys for about five ten minutes about whatever topic y'all want to talk about answer one of y'all's questions or we can just chat about life whatever um and then that way i can interact with y'all at the same time as trying something because i have so many products and it's really hard for me to try all of them i also really like face masks don't judge me but i'm thinking about buying a mini fridge just for my face masks it's that serious i really love them because they help with my skin right now my skin is going through it i don't know if you guys can tell my skin usually looks a lot better um it's been looking a lot better for the past year or so um but like i have like breakouts wall right here and this this is normally my trouble area anyway but all of this right here is just inflamed um so we're gonna go ahead and do a mask to kind of detoxify and purify and bring all of that out of our skin because i have somewhere to be tomorrow and this weekend and i want to be cute this one is sand and sky australian pink clay mask um and this is what it looks like it's a purifying mask but it also does help to detoxify and purify your skin it also helps with brightening as well so basically it is says it is a botanical infused pink clay mask it is super powered four in one formula it's an instant detox to tighten pores invigorate an adult complexion and instantly boost radiance apply over clean and dry skin use the brush provided a little goes a long way leave on for 10 minutes gently remove with warm water and a wet towel pat dry for oily combination skin use two to three times a week and for dry sensitive skin use one to two times so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, i'm gonna just put on the mask and then we can get to our topic of discussion use two to three times a week you might feel a tingling sensation don't mind that so it contains licorice root, an old man's weed, aloe vera, pomegranate, mango steen, and cockadoo plum. So just scoops, oh, it's nice and smooth, okay. This area right here is very porous. This side of my face just doesn't like me. Put this on our facing tin. I'm gonna put some on my forehead as well this bump over here a a a so i got a lot of questions what to do when you're in a funk what to do to get out of like a creative rut what to do when you feel like you're behind like everybody else has life figured out and you don't what to do when you like can't stop comparing yourself to people what to do when you are just not sure about what to do with your life now that you've kind of like graduated college and you're living the adult life in the adult world where do you find your place how do you find where to fit you know um and so i just i felt like all those questions were really good questions i wasn't sure which one to pick so i'm going to kind of do like a combination answer if you feel like you're behind or life is not going the way you wanted it to go, like you planned it out, let me just tell you something about life, okay? Life throws curveballs at you. A lot of people ask me about like, where do you see yourself in five years? And when do you wanna do, do you wanna move? Or, you know, are you gonna stay where you are? Where do you see your YouTube channel going? How Do you wanna have kids? When are you gonna have kids? One of the harshest realities of being an adult is that life is not gonna go the way you want it to all the time. In fact, like, 90% of the time it's not going to go the way you expected it to go so you kind of have to like be ready to do plan b plan c plan d because plan a nine times out of ten is not going to go the way you expect it and what's crazy is you can be so prepared or feel so prepared you can plan out everything to a t you can go to college and get your degrees you can um you know try to search for the job that you want and apply for it you can put all the work and effort into whatever it is that you're creating that you're doing you can put so much effort into something or you can you can really be praying for something you can feel so ready and still not get exactly what you want um exactly how you want it uh and I don't think that means that you failed. And I don't think that means that you are not good enough. And I don't think that means that you suck. <laughs> um, because one thing I've had to stop doing is telling myself, wow, you suck because something fails or because you don't get something or because it doesn't make sense to you or because it didn't go your way. Um, 
I think one thing we have to remember as humans is that we're human and that we're not perfect and that nine times out of ten it's not going to go how you want it to go because a lot of times even though we think that we know what we want we don't know what we need that's a word that's a word you know I feel like God has a plan for everyone's everybody's life and it's not the same plan as your plan unfortunately you can feel like you are worthy of something or you deserve something or you're ready for something and God could be like not yet because I have better for you but you think that that right there was it like that right there like if you wanted a green now later and you was like green now later is it I don't work hard for this now later I don't pay for it I bought it at the store this green now later is for me but God is like, no, I want you to have this whole bag of Skittles, but like maybe like a whole two years from now. But you want the now later right now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's called a now later. Or you work really hard at this degree, you know, and you really want to get a job in your field, but you can't find one yet. Or you really have been working hard on yourself, but you ain't got a man yet. And you figure you're trying to figure out why you're still single or you're married and everybody wants you to have kids and you don't have kids yet. It's kind of just like, boy, oh boy, I really wish if I just made the decision to do something, it just happened. But that's not how life works. So plan B, this didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. What's next for me, though? Like, what can we do to move forward? Because dwelling on the situation and like crying about it all day is not going to work. Um, and that's something that I've had to like come to reality with is like just because I want something just because I like something just because I'm good at something doesn't mean that it's going to be meant for me in that moment and that's okay and it doesn't make me any less of a person it doesn't make me less qualified it doesn't make me less um it doesn't make me less um and that's what I've learned about life is it's gonna throw you curveballs it's gonna really test you to see what is important to you and what you value because sometimes we put so much effort into things that we can see that we don't put enough effort into having faith and trusting God and that's really what it's come down to it's like at the end of the day what is your hope in is it in yourself and your own abilities or are you trusting God with it and you're like I'm gonna take on like God's plan is like God's plan God's plan God's plan <laughs> Oh, this is my plan but i'm gonna put god on it like no like god has a plan so go with his plan and stop trying to force your own plan you know just trust him with it trust him shoot it <laughs> you know so what i've had what i've learned to do is just continue to to push through um and be the best person i can be really try to be prepared um for whatever it is there is to come but i think just continuing to do the best that you can and what you can do right now with what you can control um, that works. So focusing on what you control, that's really what I've been trying to do lately is just focus on what I control. Okay, so this is not going the way I thought it was gonna go. However, I can focus on the things that I can actually control. Making sure that I eat right and take care of my body. Making sure that I'm taking care of my house and cleaning up. Making sure that I'm paying bills and, and making the money that I need to make and handling my business and minding my own business. Stop focusing on what everybody else is doing, sister. Get off of Instagram in the morning and actually like pray. The moment you get on Instagram, you start comparing yourself to everybody on your feed. Like don't scroll so much, sis. Just post something and get off. Get off your phone. You know what? Just get off the phone in general. Live in the moment. You know, the other day I hopped up and drove five hours to go see my bestie in St. Louis. Why did I do that? Because I needed to get out of my freaking head. Get out of the house. Stop thinking so much. Stop overthinking. Go do something with your life. Um, be spontaneous and live and enjoy it. Surround yourself with positivity, positive people, be productive, um, and just really focus on what you can control. Because if you can't control it, then there's no point in stressing over it. I think my mask is ready to take off. But yeah, just focus on bettering yourself. Focus on um, being, being the best you you can be. Utilizing your talents and your gifts and your skills to get things done. And then everything else will fall into place when you just trust. Put that trust with your faith where it should be um and not in yourself because we're fragile broken dusty human beings and i can't physically put all my trust and faith in myself anymore i can't do that and i think that's what kind of gets us bogged down and like overwhelmed is like we we just like think too hard man we think too hard we stress ourselves out we put too much pressure on ourselves it's like you got this okay just pray about it so yeah I hope that was helpful. I don't think it I don't I don't think I was too far off topic.
we are dry. We're gonna wipe this off with our warm water towel situation. Oh, girl, my pores look closed. Normally with masks, I'll be like, what did this do? <laughs> but this one, I can definitely see the difference in my pores. They don't look as big. And it's coming off nicely. It's not like taking forever to come off, which I like. And I think it shrank this pimple too. Maybe that's just me being optimistic. Mask off. The mask off. Very smooth. Very smooth. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm gonna go put on toner and stuff. It works best when you put your serums and your stuff to sleep in on top. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my serum and moisturizer and I'll be back. Face is finished um, and this is the result. So yeah, I like this mask. I feel like it did a really good job of pore tightening um, because my pores definitely felt smoother. I really did feel like it tightened. I could feel the tightening happening. Um, if you guys wanna see me use more masks, I can definitely do so, okay? We can have like a little mask and chill and we can talk about things. And you guys can leave me topics or questions to talk about in my next one. I would encourage you guys to not ask me questions that are more personal to me, but more so like things that you are struggling with that you want me to talk about because I don't wanna talk about myself all the time. So um, basically just like ask me a question or if you have like a situation that you're going through or something and you need some guidance or whatever, um, we can just have some girl chat about it. I think the next one is gonna be more like relationship based, like boys and boys being boys because i got a lot of questions about dating and stuff like that so um we can we can talk about that too girl you know i got you um yes that's it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to check out more about sand and sky it'll be in the description box and you can check all that information out get the links you can purchase it if you want to so you can purchase it if you want to purchase it and try it for yourself but i really like it and i will be using it again so just want to let you know i'll see you when i see you okay <laughs>